Hey guys, welcome back. We are on Ghost Town Standard Mission and we are the lowest totem pole here. As always, that's fine. Um, up there, you can see. And so, what I'm going to do is that will go one way, I will go the other. We do have artillery. We've got a, a little mission to do. Uh, force halt. Destroy a track. Okay. Not a problem. If I was a... Uh, had a light tank with a good gun. Um, see, that's another thing. A lot of players, when they're doing these sort of missions, will tend to do them... with... Oh, but, oh, there we go. their light like tanks dead. Alright. So that's actually pretty good for us. It means that I can now move up to about here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now I've got to turn them around. That's fine. The reason why I'm turning them around in. I've got practice spot by the SU, and that's fine. And there is artillery here, so I've got to be careful. So, go back up in my bush. Now, I like to stay here. I mean, we, they, they, they've got no arty now. Oh, sorry, they've got no eyes now. There's the SU. I think I let him spot it. Oh shit! Good, good, good spotting, Barask. Thank you, dude. Thank you, Progetto. Thank you. I love it when a friendly gets in my ass and I can't move and I have no fucking armor. Thank you. Thank you very fucking much. I absolutely love it. I enjoy it. It's it's amazing. It's lovely. Thank you, twat. But, yeah, can't grumble about that. So let's charioteers getting picked on. We might be able to get shots in this one five. Doubt it though. See, I'm surprised that they didn't give the hydraulic system to the uh, to the Hawker thing. Our Emil one is trying his best. Good hit, Artie. Good hit, Artie. Um, let's see. Alright, so that Super Purge is on, on the verge of getting snuffed. But right, Super Purge is down. doesn't stand a chance. Oh shit. Definitely something up there. Definitely something up there. Uh, definitely something up there then. Baden. You've got to. Yeah. Said we're evading, we're evading.
Come on. Him Gusk is shaded. Lerve is taken in black. Again, sometimes it's always good to take steps back. Got artillery, got friendlies. Oh, yep. Good kill, good kill, Patriot, good kill. Alright, so. Hmm. City looks like it's exposed. We'll load up a gold round here real quick. Alright, so there's the chugger deer. Chugger deer, it's chowder. And chariot is not exactly in a good spot, nor am I, to be honest with you. I wish charioteer to get pushed by the 59. He's either going to take it on the chin, takes it on the chin, I knew there was some up there. I even I even called it. It's gonna spot me if I don't spot him. So let's get under his gun. Okay. We have to get under his gun. There we go. So the art has been lit too, so we know roughly where they're at. Okay. Even night is smart, there you go. Proxy spot. Smart. It's a high sapphire. There we go. GG, well played. Now. Let's do a quick map analyzing, shall we? Now, low, lowest tier on you know low, low, lowest tier tank there. How am I going to play? Be effective. I mean, the fact that we I, I spotted their light tank straight away is great. And let's take a look at, at, at the rewards, which is what we've got here. Okay, on the SU one thirty, got his gunner fine by me walked away with two kills I wouldn't say it, it, it was you know the best performance ever it, it wasn't but it was good enough to get the job done as they say we survived it which is always good I've got uh, eight more battles and then I can get the battle hardened to level two decal that's nice it's good to know now what I'm gonna take a look at is we're gonna break this down a okay, damage wise I, I, I didn't do all the best you know, do I feel like a ninja two kills? No, I mean, we needed to get rid of these enemy tanks. So they, uh, they had to die, period. So, we're going to break it down. Um, and so, we got 50,000 from the reward. Thank you, phone. Um, and so, we made roughly 80, 80k. Now, let's take a look. Shots fired, nine. Six hits. Only four penetrated. Um, it's received two of which were penetrations from the Brotusk. Um I'm surprised he didn't click me out, to be honest with you. Um, I would have loaded HE and just gone boom, boom, done. Um, especially if you know at the beginning of the game the first tanks you're going to come across are going to most likely be the light, light tanks. Trust me, you should always take at least two rounds of HE in a Brotusk. Um So... Could I have done that better? Absolutely. You can always, always analyze your gameplay, guys, and say to yourself, where could I have done better? Um, and honestly, I think I could have done better at the start, 
I did see that the, our friend the EOC, uh, shout out to you my friend, where are you? Big shout out to uh, this guy, Alaslas, big shout out to you my friend, um, he spotted their light tank, I spotted our, the other light tank, we got rid of their eyes, so we had the advantage. Um, and at that point all I knew was that I just did not, did not need to get spotted by such heavy hitters that were on the enemy team. I mean we were staring at, uh, um, we were staring at, let's see, we were staring at the Bortask. As you can see, almost 3k damage. He did amazing. Sad that he lost, but he did amazing. You know? Ah. Apparently he was using an anonymizer. Um. So he really was a good player. And then we were also looking at the SU-130. Um, we had the Charioteer. We, we had some tanks that could have seriously done a lot of damage to us. And he was using it too. So there you go. And, there, there, and then we had the, the uh, light tank come across. You know. <sighs> Honestly, I really don't think he should have done the things that he'd done. Um... But it is what it is guys and so took out their eyes the rest of the team was naturally going to fail and see I really do think I could have done a little bit better but only in certain aspects yes I do have bond equipment on my tank um, I've earned it sod off you know I've, I've earned all my bond equipment so this is another thing one of the things that a lot of people keep knocking on about is crew and bond equipment, especially in tank reviews, um, where they don't talk about the bond equipment or the crew skills. Because to them, it's not about that, it's about the tank. Well, guess what? I'm sorry, 50% of your tank's stats come from its equipment and its crew. 25% from the crew, 25% from the equipment, then 50% from the tank itself. Or as I like to break it down, 25% of the player, 25% of the tank, another 25% of the equipment, and the other 25% is the crew skills. Well, most tank reviews don't take into account the majority of that. They just say, okay, this tank's got good armor, good gun depression, good this, good that. But if you've got a 50% crew in that thing, it's fucking shit. I mean, let, let, let's, just, let, let's just be completely 100% honest there. If you've got a 50% crew in your tank, it is shit. You have no sixth sense, which means you're going to get spotted it sooner. You have no repair skills, which means if you get tracked and you've already used your repair skill, your, your repair kit, you're stuck there. End of. You are bloody stuck there. Okay? Now let's also take into account. Do you understand? No one ever takes into account the crew. No one ever takes into account your consumables, your ammunition, or your equipment. This is what's missing in, in a majority of tank review videos. So, I'm going to start here. You saw the gameplay. Now, my crew, as you can see, commander's on his fourth skill. The rest of the crew are on their third skill. Commander obviously has the following skills. He has six sense, brother in arms, situational awareness, and he's working on his camera. Now, why do I have situational awareness over other skills? Right, let's take a look at what skills he gets. He's also the radio operator as well as the commander. Now, yes, I do plan on, on getting recon as well for him. So he doubles up, okay? Situational awareness, okay? Increases your maximum view range, okay? To the max of, I think it's like 450, 455 is your max view range. Mine currently sits at 513. Okay, so recon. Sorry, um, see. So I'm going to be able to push my maximum view range to literally the maximum, which is going to mean I'm going to spot what light tanks quicker. I'm going to spot medium tanks and heavies and, and and whatnot sooner, which makes me a more productive and more proficient scout tank. That's it. Now. Now I do have multiple light tanks in the German tech tree, as you can see. I've got my my little um, derpy <laughs> 105 L28. 
and I have taken it out a few times, and it is quite fun. I mean, there's the crew. I mean, they're in a second tier of skill. I also have the German Walker Bulldog. <laughs> this thing's got like a toothpick worth of hit points on its ammo rack, so yeah, you're going to have to work on the ammo rack. And then I've got the Hawker 30. I like the Hawker 30. I like the look of the Hawker 30. Um, it just it, it reminds me of the first generation Leopard, Leopards or Leopard 1s. Um, and they just are, in general, a really... It, it's a fun tank to play. It really is a fun tank to play, guys. Um, now, I've gone with Bond equipment. I've got the Bounty Optics. I haven't upgraded it yet. I am going to. And I've got the upgraded uh, Vents. So Vents is 7.5 to all skills. And then I went with the Commander's View... Uh, Commander's Vision System. Now... The reason why I went with the Commander's Vision System is to help me spot their light tanks quicker and their tank destroyers quicker. That's about it. Heavy tanks very rarely sit in a bush. There's a reason why. They don't have the camera factor. So sitting in the bush does not really help them at all. Tank destroyers and light tanks, however, they are the bane of a light tank. We need to kill them fast. So, hence that's why that's in there. Now. I do have access to a bounty rammer, not that I'm going to use it. You know, I have access to a ton of other special and bounty equipments. And I could go with the improved radio set, but honestly, that's not going to help. Um, the improved radio set, I think, is only was only recently put into the game when they realized that certain tanks' uh, uh, stats are so poor that they had to put it into offset. And so, same as the Grousers. Uh, Grousers aren't really useful anymore um, because most of the tanks that you used to be able to ram with basically got their, their, their turbos removed or their bollocks removed, however you want to put it. Um, so, yeah. But, that's the Hawker 30, guys. Uh, open maps are fun. Urban maps, not so much. But, we'll figure it out. So, we'll have one more quick game and we'll go from there. But, equipment-wise, um, I've gone with Chocolate because why not, it's a passive 10%. And I've got repair kit and a first aid kit. No need to take a large of either, because there's no point in spending that much extra money. Um, you really don't get that much of a benefit from ta ha uh, passively from having those in the tank anyway. Um, and all in all, the Hawker 30 is an interesting tank. It gets a bad rep because certain YouTubers or Twitch streamers or whatever um, shit on shit on the poor tank, and because of that, it's like oh well, if Quickie Baby hates it, or if you know um, Skills hates it, or you know so and so hates it, obviously it's a shit tank. No, obviously it's not a shit tank. Obviously, obviously, um, that person has a biased outlook on it. I don't think any tank in particular is shit. Um, I don't. I think all tanks have their own specific uh, role uh, within World of Tanks, regardless of what that role is. Uh, so that role could be um, something as useful as uh, um, Counter Scout, which I use my Hawker 34. Here you go, Lakeville. Good point. Case in point here. Now, most light tanks are going to want to take uh, the center line here. Not me. I'm actually going to come down about here. That's where I'm going. I'm not going. Not going main line. I'm not. I'm not going down the four. The four line because you will get lit. I'm actually going to be counter lining, counter countering it pretty much. You see what I'm talking about? So, of gets. And the ELC, even 90, is going to go for. He's got the size. I don't. I'm actually quite large for a light tank compared to the ELC, even 90. I have the ELC, even 90. And I will be doing a review of that tank here soon for you guys. Um, but for me, I like to go. Knock this tree down. And stay here. So their Hawk 12 went there. It's fine. Let's run it out a little bit. Hmm. 
I don't walk 12 with this. So yeah, the other LT432 is, is, is down it. Now he's got, if he's set up right, he will be a stealthy son of a bitch. Okay, so there's an object. Ah, there we go. That's where he was. He didn't spot me. See? So I gave him a little love tap. Let him know I was here. DLC's moved up. Nice. Who does? Who does? Who does? I spotted the Udez 16. Nice. See? This is just... For me, this is a really good counter position. Because... We've got map domination. If our tortoise actually, like, rolled up, it would be a different story, but he won't. Oh, good hit. There's a charioteer. See, so this is why I need to work on my group skills. We've got all the time in the world. Critical, but it was a bounce. Okay. We're up on hit points. Not making a move yet. I'm not going to make that mistake yet. Cramp hardens and the lurvers getting, getting stuck in. But like I said, I'm not going to make a move yet. Who does is lit again? I think that was the ear. It was the EOC that lit him this time. Definitely, it, yeah. Our poor little even night he's been lit. Yeah, he's he's bucket. He's been proxy. Yeah, he got pro oh ammo racked and prox proxy spotted and ammo racked. Is what it is. He tried. He tried. We've lost our some moon. Roll back a little bit. He's on the opposite side of that building. Yeah, we've lost our chisaw. Charioteer just took a whack. That's good, that's good. Even Stevens, even Stevens. Again, this is why you don't want to push hardcore just yet. So what I'm going to do, make my move in. I move, are you pulling out? Okay, apparently they're pulling out. knows what he's doing. A Prunitz Panzer is still back in the face, that's fine. Let him be back there. He can be back there, that's fine. Just lost our lure, mate. There's a light tank. He's dead. 
good, good, good. M55's been waiting for that shot. Not even kidding, he was waiting. Okay, there's the Kunitz. Kunitz has been lit. Not Cannon's Panzer as he likes to be called. Okay. Dead, dead, dead. Now they've got three very powerful tank destroyers. Add it down to two, three powerful tank destroyers. That no, missed. Yeah, so the gun on the Hawker is not the best. Not the best at all. Now I'm going to wait here. Oh, now the Kunitz, our, our Kunitz Panzer finds his brave pills. So we're going to roll in. I'd go for the WZ because he's got the more derpy gun. He's gone. Let's get up. Try and get a flank going. No, 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 no. Went too fast. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. Heavy. Nicely done. Now, what could I have done differently there? Honestly, I felt nothing, but in hindsight, you can always do better. And what I mean by that is, um, I, I could have gone down. Um, there's no point in me going valley. Reason being is, this tank needs its mobility. This tank needs its speed. This tank needs the ability to get in, get out. And be gone. You know, get in, get out, be done. So you've seen it in an urban map. You've seen it in an open map. So what? What could I have done? Again, we've cleared thirty thousand credits. Um, what could I have done better? Again, that's the one question you should always ask yourself as a player. What could I have done better? Um, I have no regrets of that, of that performance. Um, I was, again, at tier 8, light tanks, 9 times out of 10, are going to be the bottom of the tier, which means you have to play defensively. And I mean, play defensively. Um, but light tanks naturally are an aggressive tank role. The problem with the Hawker 30 is the gun. Now, the gun on the Hawker 30, okay, let me explain it to you. It's a 90mm gun, okay? Just the aim time, the dispersion. I mean, you could, in theory, but the pen alone is ridiculous. A sub 200 mil pen at this tier is just no, just just no, no, just no. Um, 250 with 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 premium. Again, as you saw, will bounce. It's like um, okay. Someone please explain that. I know a lot of people like myself used to, used to joke around and just run high explosive. I mean, 102 millimeters of penetration, 320 alpha. It was hilarious. You know? um, but then again, a lot of people would be, especially the fact I'm trying to do uh, uh, like this track mission. Um, you know, I think, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. I'll give you one more game, but I'm only going to fire HE. Okay? So what we're going to do is uh, drop that. 
drop that. We'll load up. I'll load up 30 of that and 20 of that. Okay? So this is predominantly a HE setup. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we'll get one more we'll get one more game in. Okay, one more game. But this time we're gonna be playing with high explosives and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Um, if this high explosive does penetrate and 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 because a hundred millimeters of penetration is enough to get through certain tier tier eight, nine, and ten tanks from the rear. Right, red shot. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Red shot. Okay. Okay. Um, we are the only light tank on our team, and all we want to come across is a walker baller. Now we can pen the walker baller with our HE, no issues. Um. I am going to go over here and try and get some pseudo side spots. And you'll see what I'm talking about. This is one of the reasons why I like um, why I, I, I like uh, Red Shire Assault. Um, now I've got to be really careful about this because if that Walker Bulldog is coming in my direction, I am going to be bunked. Okay, there's the Progetto. Okay. So Progetto's been spotted. Okay. Earth. There must be a light tank in here. Has to be a light tank in here. Oh yeah, they're definitely going to be spot looking over here now. <laughs> that was a penetration. <laughs> yeah, their light tank is nearby. That 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 tells me that their light tank is nearby. In fact, I think I might be able to sneak in and get a, a shot into their. Uh, Artillery. Yeah, they're not spotting me now. That was a full pen. <laughs> See, it can be fun, guys. It can be fun. You just, you just gotta like have the fun, you know. You can have fun. You can have fun. There's a scorpion. Shot it out. Oh, no. Okay, so how was I lit? No, I wasn't lit. That was a good hit, though. Very good hit from the SU. He rolled high on me. Oof. That was a high roll from him. Yeah, I must be perma proxy spotted. I've got to be. Alright, so we're gonna break. I'm just letting them know that I'm going to flank. So we've actually done not a bad job. Uh, 
here. So again, what I'm going to do is come down and around because those light tank, those tank destroyers aren't going to spot shit. And I mean that they are not going to spot a feckin' thing. There we go. Oh, there's their walker bulldog. Hello, assholes. That was a pen. You might want to, you know, like, spot them or not. No? See, once you, you can have fun, guys. You really can. There you go. Spot the IS3, there's spot damage. There's the SU 130. just yet, you're up in the night, mate. Now I will. Okay, IS-3 is now dead. A-75 is now dead. There's the Shimon. Oh, look at that lovely spot in damage. I fucking love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> okay, so the Walker Bulldog's still out there. That's fine. So Walk Bulldog came back around. So I, I am now a one shot to pretty much anything. Okay. Except for the Walk Bulldog, don't run that good. Um, unless she roll, rolls HE, you know, kind of thing. Alright, so. Nicely done, nicely done. Yeah, so they've got a ton of tank destroyers left. So what I'm going to do. Yeah, T thirty is on the roll. Right, that's good. That's good. Maltians do what Maltians do best. Oh, and apparently we won some how? Um, how? I I, don't, I guess we capped. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. But I was having fun. But um, like I said, you can like you saw, I penetrated a tier ten from behind with HE. This the little that that is a, a little uh, a little unknown uh, 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 pat on the back when it comes to the tank. Okay so I've got okay. Oh nice. Some more um things like that. But like I say guys you you, you can do it. You can have fun. And that's, that's ultimately what the game's about. The game is about having fun. You've just got to find the way of having the fun. So you've seen three games. One, uh, one pseudo open, uh, one urban, and then one uh, forest. And yeah, uh, the HE is the little known Herculean pat on the back to this tank. Uh, 102mm of penetration is more than what the Fosh got. Um, but the Fosh had like ridiculous alpha. That's why it needed to be nerfed. Um, and yes, HE in general has been nerfed. But as you saw, guys, you can actually have fun in the Hawker 30 using HE and various other things. And again, guys, I don't have a super high level crew. I, 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 yes, I've got some bond equipment, but I've earned that equipment. Okay, that's the thing. I've earned that equipment. The only thing that I've spent that's super, super expensive is the chocolate. And that's like 20 grand a match. So, you know, it, it forces you to play defensively. It forces you to play smart. It forces you to to think to yourself, okay, don't be a dick dick, you know? Um, it, it forces you to think on your feet and, and think to yourself, okay, I've done what I can here, let me go elsewhere. I've done what I can here, let me go elsewhere. This tank does best when it's on the move. Um, now, bear in mind, I don't even, I, I, I could, in theory, 
uh, once I've gotten uh, a snapshot to 100%, I could, in theory, you know, I'm, I'm going to get Dead Eye. You, know, you always want to get Dead Eye. Dead Eye is a really good skill to take with a light tank because it guarantees you're going to take out that track, various other things. Um, but yeah, you can do it, guys. You can do it. And as you can see, I do have several other light tanks that I will be doing videos on. Most, most importantly, I will be doing a video on the ELC EVA 90. I will be doing a video on the LT 432. And I will be doing a video on the Chinese Type 64. The wannabe Hellcat, as I like to call it. Um, so yeah, guys, look forward to seeing some, some really good video reviews soon of those. Or re-reviews. I think I've done one or two of them before, but I'm going to do a re-review of those. So yeah, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out. You guys have been awesome. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.